now you are interested in understanding the concept called strain okay for this we will do follow the same procedure that we did for uh, force equilibrium we will take a uh, idealized case find out what the strain is and then we will solve for the general case okay that is what we will do we will take a idealized case understand what strain is and then we will go for a general case okay in this let us assume that the coordinate system is Cx, Ey, Ez, I have body and I am considering two points in the body which are separated by a distance x1 plus delta x. Okay. Uh, two points in the body are separated by a distance x1 plus delta x. This is in the reference. configuration okay we saw what a reference configuration is when we saw a displacement it is the configuration in which you identify the particles by their position vectors okay now we saw what a reference configuration is and we identify the particles now say this body deforms and it went now say the body became like that now this point has displaced from here to here okay this is u of x1 okay and then the other point has displaced from here to here say this is u of x1 plus delta x okay what was a line element oriented like this has become a line element which is oriented like that okay now let us assume this vector u to our components u x the functions of x comma y e x plus u y x comma y e y alone okay now again from Taylor series expansion let u of x 1 be u of x u of x are u, u at x 1 be u of x 1 comma y 0 e x plus u of y x1 comma y1 e of y the vector u of x at x1 would be u of x at x1 y1 e x plus u of y at x1 y1 e y similarly the vector u of x1 plus delta x e x would be u of x at x1 plus delta x comma y1 plus e x e x plus u of y at x 1 plus delta x comma y 1 e y because I have assumed the line to be oriented along the x direction I ends I have this as the second point I am adding just delta x e y because the line is oriented along the x direction alone there is no change in the y direction or in the z direction because the line is oriented along the x direction alone okay now i can write u of x1 plus delta x comma y1 using taylor series expansion as u of x at x1 u of x at x1 comma y1 plus dou x by dou x at x equal to x1 comma y1 into delta x plus error terms in delta x similarly u of y at x1 plus delta x comma y1 can be written as u of x x1 comma y1 plus dou y by dou x at x equal to x1 comma y1 to delta x plus higher order terms delta x this comes from Taylor series okay of representing that function okay now what am I interested in a beginning course in a definition of strain you would have been defined strain as change in length by original length okay before going to that I want to define 
a rate uh, quantity called stretch ratio lambda of a that is the direction along which we are defining the stretch ratio in this case a would be e x because the line element is oriented along the x direction this is defined as current length by original length okay so let's find what original length is original length is square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square plus z1 minus z2 the whole square where x1 y1 z1 are the coordinates of the point 1 and x2 y2 z2 are the coordinates of the point 2. In our case, for our case x1, y1, z1 is for point 1 and for point 2 it is x1 plus delta x, y1 and z1. So, the original length which we denote by L ref. So, L reference would be delta x. Okay. Now, similarly I want to find current length. current length equal to L current would be what? We know that if u x 1 is the displacement of the point 1 and u x 2 is the displacement of the point 2, you know that the position vector x 1 small x 1 and small x 2 the position vectors of the point in the current configuration is given by x1 is x1 plus u at x1 right. We saw that from the displacement field when you looked at displacement field we saw that small x minus capital X is a displacement field and hence the small x is capital X plus the displacement field and x2 is capital X2 plus u of x2 okay, which for our case would be x1 plus u x at x1 comma y1 comma y1 plus u y at x1 comma y1 plus z1 because I assumed u to have only u x and u y components. Okay. Similarly, this will be x2 plus u x at x 1 plus delta x comma y 1 comma plus u y at x 1 plus delta x comma y 1 comma z 1 will be this displacement where this x 2 is x 1 plus delta x. Okay. Now, I know the coordinates of the point 1 and point 2 then the expression for the current length would be square root of x1 minus x2 plus ux at x1 minus ux at x2 the point x2 the whole square plus y1 plus uy at y1 minus y1 plus 
u y at x 1 this will be u y at x 1 u y at x 2 the whole square z component is plus it is same z 1 minus z 1 the whole square ok. Now, let us further simplify the current length L current is square root of as you saw on the previous page it is x 1 minus x 2 plus u of x at x 1 minus u of x at x 2 the whole square plus y 1 plus u of y at x 1 minus y 1 plus u of y at x 2 the whole square ok. x 1 minus x 2 was minus delta x u x 1 minus u x 2 from Taylor series expansion this will be minus dou u x by dou x delta x the whole squared plus y 1 minus y 1 is 0 u u y at x 1 minus u y at x 2 would be minus dou u y by dou x delta x the whole squared. This is from noting that from this expression of u of x 1 this u u y of x 2 u y of x 2 is given by this expression from here you will get this expressions ok. Now, we will simplify this further this will be delta x into 1 plus dou x by dou x whole square plus dou y by dou x the whole square whole power of that is L current. So, the such ratio lambda E of x along E x direction is L current by L ref which will be 1 plus dou x by dou x whole square plus 2 times dou x by dou x plus dou y by dou x the whole square the whole under square root ok. Now, let us assume let us assume that dou x by dou x and dou y by dou x are of order 10 power minus 3 or less ok. Now, what happens 10 power minus 3 whole square is 10 power minus 6. So, in that case I can write lambda of E x approximately as square root of 1 plus 2 times dou x by dou x. This again dou x by dou x is small. So, I can do a Taylor series expansion of 1 plus x. So, this will be 1 plus 1 half 2 times dou x by dou x which is 1 plus dou x by dou x. Here what I have used this here I use the fact that square root of 1 plus x is equal to 1 plus x by 2 when expanding about 0 and expanding about 0 ok that is I am expanding this 1 plus x using a Taylor series expansion about x equal to 0 I will get that expression. You, you know that dou x by dou x is 10 power minus 3 or lesser than that which means it is close to 0. So, that is why I get this approximation ok. Now, let us go ahead and define one of the strain measures strain which is change in length. by original length this will be L current minus L ref divided by L ref which will be L current by L ref 
minus 1 which will be lambda of E x minus 1 okay. So, the exact expression for the strain is square root of 1 plus do u x by do x old square plus do u y by do x old square minus 1 which can approximate it as do x by do x okay. So, this is the change in length along the x direction change in length along the x direction is computed as that okay. So, what you have seen is one such measure okay. I can define another measure of strain epsilon tilde of x which is change in length by current length which will be L ref 1 minus L ref by L current which will be 1 minus 1 by lambda which exactly it will be 1 minus 1 by square root of 1 plus do x by do x whole square plus do u y by do x whole square which will also approximate to be do x by do x when do x by do x and do u y by do x is of order 10 power minus 3 okay. Similarly, I can define one more strain plus which is ln of L E x okay. So, that again will approximate to do x by do x when the strains are small, but it will not happen when the strains are large. When do x by do x is of order 1, it will not happen that I can approximate these things by these expressions. Okay. In the next class, you will see how to get it for a general case, these strain tensors, and how do you compute the stretch ratio exactly for large deformations in a general setting. Okay. So, thank you.